Alan, go on. Hand off. Caution. After watching this report, you may never eat whole grains again. Have you guys seen that locket that I was working on? Great. Now look, it's busted. You know, I've got a deadline on these things. How am I supposed to... Never mind. Alan, come here, check this out. Do not adjust your set. What you're seeing is real. Could anything except an alien spacecraft have caused these patterns in this field? <laughs> gophers! <laughs> Space gophers, uncovered on the next. Watch the skies! What do you think? I don't know. Those circles don't match any landing patterns I know of. Maybe it is gophers. No. They're too perfect. Either it's alien, or it's a secret government testing site. Or maybe... really finicky gophers. No way. I'm with Phil on this one. Something's up in that field. We have been trying to locate you, Shaw. You've been missed. Where are you? All you need to know is, I've succeeded. On the contrary, Shaw, your absence has reflected badly on this entire organization. You are to return to headquarters at once. My assignment is... Terminated. We're calling you in for re-education. You can return willingly for the procedure, or be lobotomized in the field. It's your brain. I respectfully refuse. Refusal's not an option, Shaw. We're shutting you down. I am not giving up. I have dedicated my life to this. I'm not coming in. We're going to find you. We're going to find you. Okay. So it's not Roswell. At least it was cheap. <laughs> what is that smell? I have seen patterns like this before. Yep. A cylindrical waste deposit. What? A space waste. Probably dropped from a passing cargo ship. I doubt the ship even landed. But these holes were made when its waste hit Earth. I'm standing in space yuck? Josh, don't move. What? You are so lucky. Uh, I am? It's a little Therian, the most important creature in the universe. Uh, um, that's nice. Do they bite? It would be an honor to be eaten by a little Therian. Um, I'll take your word for it. These aren't just bugs. I mean, they are now, but not for long. They hitchhike across the cosmos, living off space waste. Then, then they metamorphose into... What? Robots? Monsters? What? Universes. No way. Yes. Our entire cosmos started out as a space bug. And so did every one of the millions of universes in all eternity. So if I destroyed this bug, right here, right now... <laughs> A whole universe that will never happen. Wow. Now back to my original question. Do they bite? They do what they want. The most important thing the elders ever taught us was to respect them. Let them be and to protect them. What are you doing? Saving the universe. Oh, no. Let them be, remember? <laughs> So, how'd it go? Well, Zero said my jewelry showed promise, but it wasn't actually anything he could sell at the shop. Oh, well. I liked it. Great, Dad. Would you like to buy 20 necklaces? No. I guess now that I know what he doesn't like, I could try again. I've got to come up with some cool designs. I guess it's back to the old soldering iron. 
So, what are you two been up to? All the usual. Saving universes. Comic book store again, huh? Can't get anything by you, Dad. It's a brilliant survival technique. When they get hit, they multiply. Hey, they must have followed us home. Then we have to be a good host. Let them be. Ah! You guys do something! Ah! 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 sort of funny. The more Dad tries to hit him, the more universes he makes. Just so long as he doesn't actually hurt them. No. Not the bug juice! Josh, bugs are why man invented pesticides. Yeah, but what about the, um, uh, 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 ozone? Don't you care about future generations? I care about future generations of bugs and eliminating them. Hand over the bug juice, Josh. Dad, we can't just go around destroying things because they disgust us. <laughs> Mr. Stevenson, leave it to us. We'll collect these bugs and take them all away. And in an environmentally friendly way. Fine. But if there's just one bug here at the end of the day, I'm taking care of things my way. Got it? Access denied. Access denied. Access denied. So, I'm down. This hotline has been disconnected. Thank you for calling. What? This hotline has been disconnected. Thank you for calling. That's impossible. You have been disconnected. Thank you for calling. Greatest things in the universe start small. They're very special creatures, Robbie. Wow, new universe is right there in that box. I thought you guys had just lost it. Well, we're not done yet. Your dad is pretty determined. Alan, relax. If there's anything I can handle, it's dad. <laughs> Shouldn't I kill?
so there was just the one bug, and then, bam, there were a hundred of them. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. Thrips. What? Thrips. Worst I've seen. This could get ugly. What are thrips? I've seen wild dogs torn in two by thrip, Stevenson. Best pretend you never heard the word. You just sign this. Here, 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 there. It's a standard loss or damage liability waiver. Tomorrow, 0700. Say your prayers, bugs. Chiggers. Worst I've seen. Could get ugly. Chiggers. W what happened to the thrips? The chiggers must have got him. But I've seen Chiggers skeletonize a pig in 30 seconds, Stevenson. Best pretend you never heard the word. Where do you put things that you really need to protect on this planet? The bank? Do they accept insects? <laughs> uh, where are we gonna put this thing? The, the pod! It's a great idea. The pod has a pretty good defense system. That's one reason why I sleep with it. The best defense is to keep that freak show away from here. Breakfast, Robbie? No, I'll grab something at zeroes. I gotta get there and show my new stuff before it gets too busy. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. Well, glad to say we thoroughly inspected the attic and it's 100% bug free. If you wanna see bugs, no point in going up there. You won't find one. Nope, none at all. Dad, why is the exterminator on the roof? I asked him to check the attic thoroughly. Why don't you guys just stick around here for a while? Let Virgil do his work. <laughs> if you're here once, you'll probably return. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> you're a space gophers. <laughs> Um, Mr. Stevenson, how well does this man know his business? He's a trained professional. I bet he's a fraud. Hear about this all the time. The guy shows up to fumigate the place. Next thing you know, he's planting bugs everywhere. And then he jacks up his fee. But he seems so, so... Unstable? I'll be right back. Virgil? Virgil, do you have a sec? I just wanted to talk to you about uh, something. Shh. Arm 
army worms. Yeah, yeah. Army worms who got the chiggers, who got the thrips, who you've seen overthrow governments or whatever. That's right. And it's best... Best pretend I never heard the word. I know. But I did. And now the word I'm hearing is ripoff. And I'm starting to think that when you got... There! <gasps> there she is. That? That's nothing. That's just an art tuba my wife made in craft class. You should be so lucky, Stevenson. There isn't a name for the kind of evil lurking in this nest. Good. That's one last word I won't have to pretend I never heard. That's the breeding ground. <laughs> Time to get serious. You're the expert. <laughs> Hello? I want a lot of things. I want my life to be back the way it was yesterday. I want a hot meal and clean shorts. I want to eradicate all forms of alien life, and that is where you come in, Berg. How so? I need equipment and a base of operations to complete my mission, and you are going to help. What? I, I really don't think that I... Oh, okay. All you have to do is ask. So, how much jewelry did he buy? None. Zero bought zero. Maybe if his name was 20, I'd be in business. <laughs> I worked really hard on that jewelry. I guess I'm just no good. He said my designs were totally uninspired. You'll find inspiration. Sometimes it shows up in the funniest places. Yeah, like I'm just gonna look up in the sky and bam, there's my answer. Stranger things have happened. Correction, strange things are happening. Come on, inspiration. bug bomb from here? Yeah, but it would just detonate it. Hey there, little fella. You got any ideas? <sighs> I'm all ears. At this point, I'll take anything. Josh, no! Hand off! Come on. We better get out of here. The pod looks kind of...
I'm hanging up my pesticide pack. I've beaten. They're too advanced for me. Look. Is that them? Leaving? Lightning bugs. Worst I've ever seen. What is it? Another reason. I'll never give up. It's amazing. I think it's the best you've ever done. Thank you. Zero agreed. He bought like 40. 40? Ooh. That's great. <laughs> I'm going to start some dinner. I'll help. What are you guys doing? Aren't you coming in? Josh has a ladybug on the bottom of his shoe. We're just waiting for her to move on. Oh. <laughs> you know, Josh, Alan told me how heroic you were in the attic the other day. No. I'm just a kid. What's a kid compared to a whole universe? Mm, depends who you ask. I mean, I bet that ladybug would say a lot. Make sure you vote for your favorites in this year's Kids' Choice Awards. Vote now at kca2013.com. The Kids' Choice Awards, coming on the 24th of March, only on Nickelodeon. The 2013 Kids' Choice Awards, brought to you by The Croods. <laughs>